Hey, good morning, everybody. All right, it's Monday again. These things just keep rolling around every single week. All right, but it is Monday, so we're going to get the week started off right, okay? Let's jump into the Word for our morning minutes in the Word. This week, again, like we did last week when we did peace and it was several different verses, I'm going to have different verses, and we're kind of going to have a thing again this week. It's not one that I could summarize in necessarily one word like peace, uh, but this week I want us to kind of look at God's leading, God's direction, God's will, God's plan. So just kind of uh, that general direction is what we want to do. And so the first verse that I want to give you is Jeremiah 29, 11. It says this, For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace, there's that word again, and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Now, some verse, versions uh, translate that instead of, for I know the thoughts. The King James says, for I know the thoughts I think toward you. Some versions say, for I know the plans that I have for you. And so I want us to think about that. God has a plan for each of our lives. And as the King James says, God has a thought. I mean, that's, that's amazing in itself that God thinks about me. I'm nobody. I mean, in a world of seven and a half billion people, I'm one person, but God thinks about me. He thinks about you. And then, like I said, some versions say God says that I know the plans that I have for you. God's got a plan for each one of us. He has things that he has thought out for each of our lives. Now, we plan things, and you know what? Sometimes they happen and sometimes they don't. But God's plans, God's plans are ones that can be counted on. Because if God says, here's what I want you to do, then he's going to make a way for you to do that thing. He's going to make a way for you to live for him. He's going to make a way for you to be faithful to him. But then we have to submit to that plan. Listen, we, we all have plans that we made over these last couple months that have probably just fallen through, haven't they? Because of everything going on, the craziness we've been going through, sports have been canceled, school trips have been canceled, just school was canceled with you know moving everything home. So much has gotten disrupted in our lives that our plans are all up in the air. Even plans that we have for months from now are probably up in the air. But God said, I have thoughts that I think towards you. I have plans for you. And listen, if you'll follow my plans, I'll give you, it says, an expected end. Like, we don't have to guess, well, if I follow God, what, what will happen? I mean, will that, will that just make me miserable? And, I, and when you read God's word, it says, when you follow God, you follow his will, he's going to bless you. He's going to give you, uh, you know, a happy life. It uh, doesn't mean that everything's always going to be easy like we saw on Sunday. You know, sometimes struggles happen, but still there's an expected end. We know that we can live for God and then we have a home in heaven whenever, you know, if we've been saved, we have a home in heaven waiting for us. So I just want to encourage you. God thinks about you and he has a plan for you. Are you yielding to that plan? You guys have a great uh, week this week. I know it's Monday, but we're going to get it started off and, and, and just in, with a, a strong note and we're going to have a great week this week. Y'all take care.